Hi, welcome to Nikki's vlog from New York. Um, and I have a question for my viewers. I know there's not many, but um, I have a bit of a dilemma. Um, obviously, when I'm in the States, normally I never think about what bathroom I use. I just use the ladies' bathroom. It doesn't seem to bother anybody. It's, it certainly doesn't bother me. Um, whereas I would kind of feel a little bit uncomfortable in the boys' bathroom. Um, so obviously I've not been to North Carolina, obviously I have a whole show about it to pee or not to pee and obviously I take the mickey out of it quite a lot. Um, and I was over here in October um, and went to a client um, and actually asked the client which bathroom they felt comfortable me using and uh, they told me it was okay to use the ladies room. Um, but then three months later, you know, I've had a complaint from that organization saying that they felt uh, that somebody, some female in the toilet with me felt uncomfortable um, and that they were concerned that it might hit the press and it might kind of cause an issue. And uh, would I not use the ladies room on their premises? And so I have a meeting with them coming up um, and we're very conflicted as to what we should do. You know, on one half, on one part, I feel like, you know, as a trans woman kind of representing the trans community, kind of ought to make a stand and, you know, if this was a public hotel or a kind of bar or a restaurant or whatever, you know, I just would tell them where to go and kind of use the ladies' room and if people are feeling uncomfortable would point out to the person who's feeling uncomfortable that maybe 20 years ago they would have felt uncomfortable with a black woman in the toilet and it's just life, move on, grow up um, and forget about it. But I can't do that because this is one of my biggest clients and they've asked me not to and so, you know, what do I do? When I'm in their offices next week, do I use the boys' room like they've asked me to? Or do I make a stand and run risking, you know, my organisations and you know, everyone who works for me's livelihoods by jeopardising a big contract? And I wondered what you thought. I don't know what we're going to do. Well, I'll probably report on it, you know, as we go through the next three weeks, as I'm going to be pinging all over America, seeing lots of different clients, and obviously this is an issue that's going to come up. So what do you think? Should I make a stand and kick my feet and or should I just quietly comply with their requests and move on? Let me know at Nikki Take slash Nikki Take hashtag Nikki Take or just Google Nikki Take. Bye.